Hello everybody and welcome back. In uh, this video I, con I will continue my discussion on uh, the new Excel 2016 charts. But uh, first of all I want I want that you notice that um, among that list we have a new charts uh, a new chart the funnel chart. Uh, that chart here was in uh, was inserted uh, by Microsoft in uh, the January and February updates of Excel. Um, I have a video on the funnel chart in my uh, Excel 2016 charts playlist on my YouTube channel. Uh, the funnel chart it's uh, it's very simple. Uh, it does not require complicated customizations. And uh, that said, we can proceed with uh, our discussion and examine the, um, what I think is the most uh, complex chart uh, among uh, the new Excel 2016 charts, the box plot chart or box and whisker, if you prefer. Uh, here I have some definitions uh, with the, um, in a box plot chart we can uh, quickly see uh, some important uh, statistical uh, details uh, like the mean, the median, the percentile the out and the outliers uh, that you can find inside your data set. Uh, here I have a couple of concept, a concept that it is worth uh, 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 memorizing. Uh, uh, first, the first one is that uh, um, a number inside the data set it is considered an outlier if uh, uh, it lies one and a half times the length of the box. And uh, it is also important to uh, remember that uh, the concept of the of interquartile range, or in simple words, uh, the eighth of the box. So uh, let's proceed and insert the actual chart. We go into the Insert tab and then Recommended Charts. Uh, strangely enough, inside the uh, recommended charts, charts box um, list, we cannot find the box plot uh, chart and we have to go in the all charts tab and then we find it, we click it, we click on it and then we click OK and the chart is inserted. Uh, as usual, that chart here has been created by the new Excel 2016 chart engine. So the only way that we have is to type the title manually. We cannot link the chart title to a cell like uh, in the old uh, chart engine, Excel chart engine. Um, the next thing that I want to do is to add, add the data labels uh, so we can uh, see in a much clearer way uh, the numbers um, inside the chart and compare them to the actual uh, numbers that I have calculated using, by using the, uh, some basics uh, Excel statistical functions. So we can see that the uh, bo bottom uh, whisker is the minimum value inside the distribution. The base of the box is the first quartile, the median is that line inside the box, the uh, average point uh, is represented by a mark here. And then the third quartile is the top of the box. Then we have the uh, top whisker and the outlier, which in that case uh, is 300. Now, 
uh, I want to focus on the uh, calculation method that Excel uses to calculate the top whisker and to uh, clarify uh, that concept we go back in our definitions and we uh, remember that uh, the concept of interquartile range which is the 8 of the box and we also see that uh, it, it, an outliers is considered an outliers a number that lie one and a half times the length of the box so first first thing we we calculate the eight of the box and we do that by subtracting the first quartile from the third quartile and we obtain the number 89 then we, we take that number here, we multiply it by uh, one and a half, and then we add it to the third quartile, and we obtain the outlier limit. Uh, uh, the top bo the bottom, the, the top whisker here, uh, it's the maximum value that you can find inside the outlier limit. Every number that it is over that limit here is considered an outlier. Um, and the same concept works for the bottom whisker. I hope that uh, my explanation uh, is uh, clear. If you have some problems uh, in understanding it, please leave a message under that video. Um, if we click inside the, uh, the data, the, the, the box, we right click inside the box and we open the format pane, we can, see, we can see a series of options that we can customize for the uh, box plot chart. The first option is the gap width, which basically uh, changes the uh, width uh, of the box. Then we, uh, we have the show inner points uh, option. If we check it, uh, the, uh, the, all the numbers inside the dataset appear inside the chart. I believe that uh, this option here uh, is uh, confusing. Um, so so uh, I suggest that you don't check it. The next option is the show outlier points and if we uncheck it uh, you can see that the two outliers in that data set here disappear. Then we show we have the show main markers option. If we uncheck it the two markers that uh, represents the, uh, the, the, the average disappear. Then we have the show main line, and that option is uh, makes uh, connect uh, connects uh, the two uh, markers points uh, um, of the um, uh, which represents the average with a line, and then at the end we have the uh, quartile calculation method. We can choose the exclusive median um, that is the default method or the inclusive median at the end of that video i want to make my usual comparison here i have constructed a box plot chart uh, by using the same uh, data um, that we have seen in the other spreadsheet uh, that chart here it is obtained by customizing a sticked column chart. We can see that we have the two whisker, whiskers, the box, the median line, the average point and the outlier. Uh, of course we cannot compare the uh, level of difficulties uh, that requires that uh, the construction of that chart here with the simplicity uh, of the uh, um, uh, of the new Excel uh, 2016 box plot chart.
uh, I believe that uh, it is all for the box plot, box plot chart. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.